Hi, I'm Jan Broberg, and 40 years ago, I was kidnapped by my parents' best friend. Not once, but twice. I went downstairs where her bedroom was, and, and I saw my dad lying on her bed crying, and uh, I knew that that was significant. It's an incident that might have been avoided if we had been more aware of the inner workings of a pedophile. Keep in mind that this man and his entire family have been our best friends for two and a half years prior to this experience. The story I want to tell in my documentary will help us with this growing problem that our children face. In 1974, when my next guest was 12 years old, she was kidnapped by a trusted family friend. The man picked her up from a piano lesson, drugged her, and kept her for 55 days as the two of them lived in a motor home traveling from Idaho to Mexico. She was finally freed by Mexican police cooperating with the FBI and returned to her family. Later, at age 14, she was kidnapped again by the same man. I'd already been groomed for two and a half years by this man. By this time, he'd become like a second father. He'd taken his five children, the three of us in my family, to the science fiction movies. And so this little girl, these seeds had been planted. When I woke up in the back of that motorhome, it took two seconds to be brainwashed. I'm struck by how many children from very religious households mm -hmm. are, I guess, targeted, first of all, but, but seem susceptible uh, in a way. Well, I think any time that you're taught to have faith in something, you should also be taught to find facts. You'll learn how to listen to the voices in your head and the feelings in your gut that tell you something is wrong. Your gut instincts are more right. That intuition, that intuitiveness is something to definitely pay attention to. You must pay attention to it. And then find the facts to support that. And if you have been a victim, you'll find out that hope and healing are truly just around the corner. She has definitely understood that she can do something from her experiences for good. There's an adage that evil prevails when good men and women do nothing. Get on board, come along as a producer, and help me do something good. There's service in your hands, reach out. We need more education because it is information Information is inspiration. Information is power. Be a part of the solution, the prevention. Let's help our kids get involved.